Right, continuing on the reliability of the action series from DJI, today we have the DJI Action 4. It's a fantastic little camera and it's got a few upgrades. Looking at it you may not be able to tell the difference from the Action 3 and the Action 4, but um, there are some upgrades like the new sensor which is larger and above all I've got to tell you there are not going to be any crazy action sports here it's basically me in my hood in Wimbledon walking around not doing 99% of the things that most of us can't do like jumping out of a helicopter or an airplane all that crap it's basically going to be normal down-to-earth stuff the new sensor is a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor the old one was a 1 over a 1.7 inch sensor, so it's a bit bigger, which means it is better in low light. The new camera, the Action 4, go down to 18 meters underwater. The old one was 16 meters. Yep. And we have, this is going to be good for all you FPV pilots out there, gyro data is back in the Action 4. It wasn't in the Action 3, which was odd, but it is in the Action 2, which is no doubt my favorite action. The Action 4 is fantastic, it's beautiful, but I love the format of the Action 2 and I really hope they make an Action 2 2. The last thing is that it now takes 512 gigabyte cards, so for those of you that want to record and record and record, you can now have 512 gigabyte cards as opposed to 256 gigabyte cards on the Action 3. Now, as for Action Sports, I did put it on my RC car and I actually wrecked the um, lens and the great thing about it is that you can get the lens, you can take it off and you can put a new one on if you do wreck it. I'll show you a little bit of a close-up using a macro lens so that you can see what I've done to it. It's only a bit of a crack but it did take quite a hit. Now there are other things about the Action 4 that make it great and I know that the GoPro Hero 12 is no doubt coming out anytime soon so it's good that the Action 4 has been launched now, it's a step ahead, and if you're looking to buy any action camera, the DJI Action 4 is the best action camera you can pick up at this moment in time. One cool thing about it is that we have InvisiStick, so much like the Insta360, you can remove the stick, so it looks like you're floating, and all I have is my cheat sheet in my hand, and a weird arm here, I guess. <laughs> now if we get rid of that and we go back to some kind of normal view, it's got 155 degree view. The GoPro has 151, if I'm, if I'm correct on that. So it's a little bit wider. It's very wide, as you can see. I mean, this is, this is just literally an arm's length, just a little bit, and it is silly wide. If you're interested to see what the Action 4 looks like compared to the Hero 11, well, this is it. In fantastic weather, it's the kind of weather that GoPro and DJI won't show you in their films, but I will. This is your normal, everyday London overcast weather. The Hero is right there. The Action 4 is right there. And this is what they look like side by side. We have stabilization on. You can see that the GoPro has horrible distortion. And I mean like horrible distortion. The Action 3 and the Action 4 actually have very good distortion, which makes it a lot more usable at the really, really widest focal length. And this is what they look like at arm's length. I think they both generally look good. I mean, action cameras have come a long way, just like gimbals, and they both really do a great job, which I like. <laughs> Another thing about this, this authentic review, is that why would I choose this over the GoPro? The GoPro battery dies and the GoPro does not have live view when you're recording. With the GoPro, if you press record, the live view turns off, which is very annoying if you need to see that live view. So you've got it mounted on a suction cup, which you can get from DJI as well. They make these really nice ones now. Um, and you've got it on the car and you can't see what you're recording. That's pretty important. With the action, you can press record and you still get a live feed, which is fantastic. So apart from all that, it's also got 4K 120, slow motion. It also does go down to 240 frames per second in 1080p. It's got 10-bit 
D-Log, so you don't have to worry about, you know, pushing your color grade. And it also has Horizon Steady, but that's in 2.7K. I'm disappointed that DJI didn't make it in 4K, like the GoPro, but you can basically just do this. Yep, that's me twisting it around. See, look at that. And it's keeping the horizon completely straight. I can slip it upside down, downwards, flip it, kick it, do whatever I want, and the horizon will be steady. Isn't that wild? I like that feature, but like I said, 4K would have been cool DJI. And, and it is in 45 degrees in 4K, so it'll go to 45 degrees and then it'll break off. It would be great if we had that in 4K, but they still haven't got around to it. The Hero 11 does have it in 4K, so that is one thing that the GoPro has that the DJI Action 4 and the 3 do not have. This, by the way, is the wide view, full on wide view with zero stabilization. I mean, it, that is wide. There's an arm's length. I mean, we're talking serious wide. It's actually making me look a little bit fat. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> now we do have dual touch screens which is great because the GoPro only has a touch screen at the back we have a battery that lasts 160 minutes one that would normally last three minutes on the GoPro and it will charge to 80% via PD in 18 minutes which is insane if you use the actual case you can charge all three batteries to 80% in 56 minutes I mean that is that's fantastic that really is so you can freeze this sucker down to minus 20 and it will still work i know a lot of people use these in freezing conditions in alaska and iceland and wherever you guys are going and you know that's really great if you're looking for an action camera that can handle those kind of things this guy certainly can now you do have a magnetic quick release which is fantastic because you basically just stick it on there and we are magnetized in it this thing isn't coming off the magnetic quick release means i can basically just do this and i'm ready I don't have to play around with screwing anything in. If I want to take it off, click it off, and I'm back. Click it on, and it's on again. That's a really great thing. You do have that with the GoPro, with the actual feet that I designed, me, with Ulanzi. So you can actually use that same kind of deal with the GoPro if you exchange the GoPro feet for the Ulanzi feet that I created. And um, there'll be a link down below. By the way, all the actual effects, the layovers, the furs that you see in this movie. I'm gonna call it a movie, am I? Oh well. They're from Motion VFX, which is a fantastic company and they are sponsoring this video today. Motion VFX do the best plugins in the world. If you're looking for plugins, you want something ready, you want it done, you just wanna pull it over, put on your footage, Motion VFX by far do the best plugins. Another great thing is that we do have native to vertical video. So if we have it on the cage, yeah, and we want to go in, into vertical, we basically stick it on and we are now in vertical, which is, you know, that, that's a lifesaver that it can be just that fast, you know. You don't have to play around, you know, because the cage actually has, you have to have the cage on to do that, but it has that. And now the, my cage is really, really wrecked because it has had a lot of falls, but the only thing that's been destroyed is the cage. I mean, destroyed, it's been scuffed a lot, and the actual lens, which, like I said, you can basically, when you have it on there, you can twist it off, and you can take it off, and you can exchange it for a brand new one, which is fantastic. That is something that the GoPro Hero 8 didn't have, so all of you that have the GoPro Hero 8, and you're looking to upgrade, Action 4, that's the way to go. Another great thing about the Action 4 is that you can adjust the sharpness of it. So it doesn't have to be over sharpened like most action cameras, but you can make it more filmic, you know, more cinematic. You can also adjust the noise level reduction. So it doesn't have to be completely wild and crazy, but you can adjust that too. And it has three microphones. It has one on top and it has two next to the Action 4 logo. And where you've got the O in the Action 4 logo, you actually have a color temperature sensor. That's sneaky, DJI, very sneaky. So you also get filters, and I'm a big fan of filters. I, I have a lot of filters, but the DJI Action 4 comes with a set of filters. If I can get this box open, there we go. Look really, really pretty. 
and you can use them to have natural motion blur and get some really cinematic shots. Now, it weighs 145 grams, so it's, it's, it's really lightweight for an action camera, and like I said, I've, I've bashed it around, but I've bashed it around in a cage, because I don't want to actually destroy the camera itself. There are a few differences between the actual design of the Action 3 and the Action 4. There's no rubber at the bottom anymore, the actual lens is black, the actual feel of it is a little bit different, the microphone at the top is a little bit different, the colors are not orange anymore, they're red, which actually suits me a lot more, looks more like a camera, you know, a red button instead of an orange button. Apart from that, it is really, really similar. I hope you've enjoyed the examples, and if you have any questions at all about this brand new camera from DJI, the DJI Action 4, do drop the comments down below. If you did like my film, give me a like, subscribe is down below, and you know, ring the bell. That's gonna help my film, this channel, everything out. I'd like to thank DJI for sending this out. I'd like to thank Motion VFX for their fantastic plugins and you know helping me out with my channel as always. And then I'm gonna catch you guys probably in Poland because I'm in London right now, if you can't tell. In my garden. It's nice here. I wish I had a garden at home. <laughs>